Hello everyone, this is Jamerica with Jamerica Life. Come on, Philly. Just stepped all over me. So today, we are going to put some of, some people call it the tree of life, some call it the miracle tree. I call it the tree that grows the fastest because this is a moringa. I put this in this pot approximately two months ago and look, it's almost five feet tall. It's almost five feet tall if it's not. I mean, I guess it would, I'm gonna knock off two feet. So it's about three feet tall, but this is not, this tree is growing really fast, really fast. But because of the, um, Moringa is so good for you. And I had so many seeds, I went wild and planted a whole bunch of them. Now I gotta get them out of this pot because apparently I have a cutting bug in here. Look at that. You see that? Whatever it is, it's just biting it off. So what we're gonna do is, we only got a million of them. I'm gonna plant some of these in the ground. I already have some in pots, see that? I have three in my east facing window. Here's another one right here. I think I have four in pots, four in big pots. See that? So I want to put some in the ground. I think I'm going to put one out there and then I'll put some along the fence line on the other side. So let's go ahead and get to it. Today is the planting of the moringa tree. Let's go. First things first, we need to get some of these trees out. So I have two right here. It's been raining, so it's soaking wet. So I'm gonna get these two out. I'm just scooping them out with my hands. Oh, and there's worms in here. How do worms get in here? That's weird. <laughs> I must have this pot on the ground. Got two of them in here. I think I'm gonna take one more. One more tree. That's three. Cover this back up. There's worms throughout this thing. Wow. I didn't know there were worms in here. That's weird. I had to have had this on the ground. Maybe this is where I had the spinach on the ground. Worms came up through the holes. All right, so let's go ahead and plant these. I have three moringa trees here. They're not bushes, they're trees. And they grow fast. I just showed you that one over there. Maybe that one is a growing a big, 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 bit quicker because it's in um soil that i purchased from the supermarket or from the big box store i don't know but i think that this tree just grows fast so buyer beware either keep it in a container or put it somewhere if you have a small yard put it somewhere that you want it and you know you're probably gonna have to prune it just saying I, you know this is my first time too but i have that one over there it's only a few months old and it's three to four feet tall already and then those aren't doing too, that's not too far behind. <laughs> Let's get them in the ground. So I decided to put it over here where the crepe myrtle and the mountain laurel are. Sorry, y'all can't see me. <laughs> so I decided to put it over here where the crepe myrtle is and the mountain laurel is right there. These plants are, they're kind of aggressive. And I can see that the, mor not the moringa, but the um, mountain laurel has to be pruned back because it's touching the house now. So I'm gonna have to fix that but I think I want to put one right here. I do. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put one right here. <laughs> Let's get to it. All right, here we go. If I can find somewhere with no roots.
think I found out what was killing my moringa. Yeah, see that? That. That's alive. That's a caterpillar. You see that? Yeah. Don't worry. I'm gonna feed him to the chickens. He's been hiding out for a while, apparently. There's worms in here also. I'll put them to the side, but he he's not gonna live very much longer. Let me put him in a special place. You know what? I think I found a space for my asparagus. I'm gonna put my asparagus here too. I'm gonna go get those. So let's dig this up first and then put the asparagus in there. Well, I'll put the I'll put the tree in first and then we'll dig the asparagus in. So, let's go ahead and get the the the, the um man, I didn't stutter until I started doing YouTube. Let's get the moringa in first and then I'll go and get that asparagus. I have a whole bunch of asparagus. I have ones in bigger pots from last year. So, I need to get those in the ground. So, let's get this tree in first. I hope the roots aren't aggressive. I already have trees over here, so you know it's kind of too late, right? So let's do this. Let's get the tree in, and then we'll I'll bring the asparagus over here, and we're gonna round it off right in this corner with the asparagus. And uh, I think it'll be pretty. Hmm, who knows? I think I got good taste. <laughs> Okay, let's go back and get the asparagus. Man, I need to fix this hair, huh? Can't do it with these hands. <laughs> do your best, girl, forget the rest. I know you wanna be patted, but I got dirty hands, girl. <laughs> so she's down here. She's right here. See that? Begging for attention. I know, BB. All right. Go on, get. Got dirty hands. So I'm gonna do like I did um, over there with the other, the annuals or what's presumed to be the annuals. I'm gonna dig holes. I have two, four, six um, pieces of asparagus right there. The little Dixie cups. Started them from seed, I always do. And I'm gonna dig six holes. If my dog step on my stuff, she's gonna be in trouble. And I'm gonna dig six little holes around that one moringa tree, all right? Yeah.
Okay, this thing has been in here a while. Do the best I can, right? All you can do, girl. I gotta put something here to let them know that this is not to be messed with. Usually they see it. I might have to show them next, next, next Monday that this is here and not to cut over here anymore. So that's one. Here's another one. I might just plant three. Look at the roots on this. Jesus. here this might be more than one plant no remember when we were planting these I said that they looked like they were more than one plant because they're bunching that's what this thing is doing bunching doing its thing One more right there. Lucky number four, right? <laughs> And this is number four. See that? I might need to um, open this up a little bit more. Put that in. Make it safe and sand. feel like it's always been there it just rained so the water is really now this is clay soil I have, I've had somebody call me out on uh, clay soil clay soil see that this is clay soil but clay soil is actually better than having a sandy loam soil clay soil holds on to its nutrients better than most soils because there's nowhere for it to go it just holds on to everything look see play <laughs> I don't necessarily care for it because it's hard to deal with when it dries out but as far as it having nutrients in it yep it got it it's good for your plants just don't let it dry out or if it rains too much doesn't drain very well other than that the plants seem to like it most plants most plants not all plants I'll put a if I put a blueberry out here, it won't make it. I don't know what it is. Blueberries don't like the soil. So we have three asparagus in here and one moringa tree right there. Very hard to see it, right? So I have some signs or some what used to be signs, sign holders. I can use that to mark it until I can find something. I guess I could put some... Um, I could put some, what is that stuff I had yesterday? Kale around there. <laughs> but I do have these sign holders, so I'm gonna stake them around there just to let them know that something, something is there. Here they are. They're not the best, but they're better than nothing. Might put some tape or some ribbon on it like a flag. You know, 
a white flag. I surrender. Don't don't chop me down. Don't mow me over. <laughs> oh man. I get these songs popping in my head. You know, don't 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 make me over. <laughs> That's an old song. All right. Now that I do anything for you, don't make me over. All right, come on. What's the other one? All right, you two, I'm gonna call you the dynamic duel. That's what I'm gonna call you. Place is full of snails, are they alive? No, they're dead. Okay, so there's two of them here. That's one. Here we go. Mosquitoes are bad today. We got our moringas in. We got them in. They're in a little bit of shock. I pray. I'll pray over them. Because <laughs> I had these two in. One is standing up. See this one? See this one is doing good. Right? And this one is a little upset with me right now. I left it out too long. I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive me. Keep on packing it with soil. I'll give it some... Um, because it's the trees, and you know what I do with trees, right? I always give them horticulture molasses. So I'll be over here with some sugar in a minute. Mosquitoes are biting me up. Oh, bad this year. They are bad this year. I'm talking about mosquitoes and bugs in general. Shoot. Woo! All right, let's go to the other side and go and get some horticulture molasses mix. And then we'll, you know, we'll pour some of it on there. It's already wet over there, so I'm not going to put a lot. I'm going to, I'm going to give it a little bit, you know, a little bit of sugar. And let it do what it do. They said moringa is the miracle tree. So the miracle tree, the tree of life. You could eat every part of the, of the um, moringa tree from what I hear. So... Let's go ahead and find some horticultural molasses and get this done, all right? Back on the other side. I almost forget she's out here sometimes. She's so quiet. Her. <laughs> Until she walks up on me, I'm like, oh, you're out here. <laughs> well, it rained out here, so I have some rain water, right? And here's my horticultural molasses. Woo! I didn't mean to put that much. Yee! Maybe I need to use a bigger bucket. <laughs> Let me go and get some more water. This is way... This smell like sugar. I can smell it from here. Let me get a bigger bucket so I can dilute it a little bit more. I love the way it smells. It smells like breakfast. Just a second. Go 
circle it over there. After I can get, if I could get up. <laughs> get up, girl. Sometimes you got to motivate yourself. <laughs> Let's go over there. So, from what I've read or heard of the moringa tree, that once it's established, this is a drought tolerant tree. So, once you get it in there and it gets rooted, well, it's going to be there. So, you make sure you put it in a spot where you want it. Another thing about it being uh, is about it being cold now. I'm going to tent it. I'm going to tent it during the winter. Because I don't think it's drought. I don't think I know it's drought tolerant, but it, I don't think it's cold tolerant. So we'll see. I got to read up some more on it. I have to read up some more on it. Let's go ahead and give them a drink of water. Well, a drink of mm, sugar water. <laughs> because you look so bad, I'm gonna start with you first. to the next. Still got half a bucket, but I have two little trees here that are struggling, so I'm gonna give it to them. Well, we have everything in and I am tired. So this is gonna wrap it up. We're gonna wrap it up now. <laughs> My hair is so jacked up as usual. This is Jamarica with Jamarica Life. I thank you guys for being with me and I will see you guys on the next one, all right? Go ahead and like and subscribe and you know, hit that notification button. Bye y'all.